Morning guys, welcome back to United Kingdom Crayfish Association's official YouTube channel. My name is Andy Mack, aka Macca the Trapper. We're back here over at Kings Nordley. Guys, back over here checking on the American Signal Crayfish with a baiting with his salmon oil. Today is the uh, long-awaited results of that field research, guys. So we're going to be going around the pools very quickly, checking the uh, checking the traps to see what's in there. Beautiful morning here in Kings Nordley. It's about half six, quarter to seven in the morning at the moment. Very big day here today for the uh, for the UKCA. I've got my buyer from uh, from uh, uh, Portsmouth coming up to uh, to buy the uh, the crayfish. I'd also like to announce that uh, Ian from Kings Nordley has also agreed to basically to uh, go into removing the uh, the signal crayfish on an industrial level, guys. Okay, so we're going to be now farming the uh, the signal crayfish. We've got two. 1,000 litre IBCs coming in. I've ordered the pumps, I've ordered the uh, the water filters, absolutely everything. So instead of storing them in the lakes, guys, we're gonna be storing them in fresh water pumping, pumped out uh, IBC containers, basically to purge them, to keep them all nice and clean. Also for uh, for Lorenzo down at the uh, the Wildmore Oak Bar and Bistro, so they're supplied live and fresh. They're also gonna be a lot easier to, uh, to sort out for uh, my mate Chris from uh, from Portsmouth when he comes up to to collect. So we haven't got to walk around the lakes pulling traps in, looking at any if there's any that are dead or anything like that. They're going to be kept alive. They're going to be kept fresh, and they're going to be kept in a controlled environment in uh, flat-sided IBC containers. So they're as completely escape-proof as well. So fantastic news. We're going to be supplying now uh, restaurants and the uh, the uh, export trade on an industrial level. Trapped by myself and the UKCA. Uh, also, uh, other big news as well, I've got uh, 100 traps coming over from China, guys, that have been made exclusively for myself, exclusively for the UKCA, with the reduced inlet on the uh, on the traps for the uh, for the crayfish to get into. As you may have seen on other videos, guys, basically you've seen me with the uh, the other traps, like the Kyoki trap, where I'm actually putting a cable tie around the inlet to stop uh, things like predatory fish, like, par like, like pike and carp and other uh, other, other fish getting into the traps to try and get to the crayfish. So they're being exclusively made for myself. Uh, they're being flown over in the next couple of weeks. Uh, exactly the same kind of design, guys. The collapsible, the collapsible style, uh, style uh, design, with reduced inlet ring of uh, 45 millimeters, not 95, 45. The thing is with those with, the, with classable traps, they put the otter guard around them at the, uh, the at the environment's agency's guide of 95. But the thing is, doing that, you won't stop fish getting into the trap to eat the crayfish, which is what we want to do. We don't want the fish in the traps to eat them. We want to trap crayfish, not fish. So these traps are basically are 100% crayfish traps. They're not. They're not uh, shrimp traps, they're not crab traps, they're not lobster traps, they are crayfish traps. And they're also going to be on sale through the United Kingdom Crayfish Association's official uh, eBay store and eBay page, which is uh, online at the moment. You can see there, you can see a picture of myself there. Um, there's also going to be floats being brought over as well to, for float markering on inland trapping like reservoirs and privately owned lakes and privately owned uh, uh, stately homes and things where anglers are and all that kind of thing but as you saw on the other video when we were doing the um when i was doing the trapping on the river they obviously you don't want to be putting floats around on rivers because obviously uh, mr and mrs joe public can see where they are and you will lose your traps as my learned friend over in uh, in canada i'm sure you'll agree with their buddy they are a pain in the ass because they do nick your traps why people do it i do not know but they do they think it's hysterical that's just the way it is Nothing queerer than folk, guys. Nothing queerer as folk. They're very strange uh, people. And Mr. Richard Joe Public, they seem to think this is hysterical, but it's not. It costs us money. We are trying to provide a service, but uh, that's just the way people are. Anyway, moving on swiftly and quickly. So, yeah, uh, my colleague Chris is going to be coming up here today. I mean, he's got coming up from Portsmouth. Hope you're well, buddy. I uh, hope you get here safe. Uh, so, without further ado, guys, let's go into the, uh, the first lake here, the California Lake. And uh, let's pull the traps in. Let's see what's in there. Let's see if the salmon oil has worked with the American signal crayfish. You may remember it didn't work with the uh, the Turkish narrow claw, but uh, there's something been in the back of my mind for a long time about the uh, about the American signal. It is going to be a fair test, as you saw in the last video. Fresh sponges, fresh uh, fresh baits, fresh traps. So let's uh, let's get onto the lakes, guys. Let's see what's in there. Let's see if that trick works, and let's see how many crayfish we've caught. Okay guys, this is the uh, haul from the first lake to California, using salmon oil, very disappointed guys, not a good result at all. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I think it's eight, yeah, eight crayfish there out of three traps, which is diabolical because I actually had 56 out of the same lake with um, usually pork lunch and meat. Okay, so the salmon oil at the moment guys, 
isn't looking too clever at all. We are trapping crayfish, but not on the quantity and not on the scale that I want to. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight crayfish out of three traps using, using the salmon oil in the California lake. Not looking good so far. Let's crack on the other lakes and see what's in there. Okay guys, second uh, second lake. I've just pulled in two two traps. One was one was quite empty, but this one guys was very very full. As you can see there, not doing too bad now. Not doing too bad at all. A little bit of a we got a dead one there actually. I think is he dead? Let's have a look. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. Okay. And uh, yeah, that's out of the, uh, out of uh, two traps using the salmon oil. So a bit of a shaky start, but uh, very slowly building up. Anyway. This is the third trap on the on the third lake, on the second lake. I beg your pardon. Just pulled this in. Didn't actually see this uh, this float this uh, trap to be start with. So hence the reason why I've got the floats on there now, guys. You can see now the benefit of having that because if I hadn't seen that uh, that float, I'd have walked straight past this trap. So there we go. All right, let's pull it in. And this is heavy. This is actually quite quite heavy. So let's have a look what's in here. Okay, yeah, we've got a good yield in there, guys. There we go. See if we can pick this up and have a look. Yeah, and there you go. Decent haul using salmon oil. So yeah, the salmon oil is really beginning to pay off. Okay, let's empty that into the basket and I'll count them out. Okay guys, uh, third trap, lake three. Improvised float there, as you can see, blue bottle. Another one over there in that, uh, that corner. Again, for me to uh, to check and see where the uh, where the uh, the traps are. Cause the uh, the guys on the maintenance they do strimming around the area and uh, around the side of the pools. And the last thing you want to do basically is lose a lose a trap into the bottom of the water. Have to get your grappling hook out and start splashing and faffing and prattling about so to try and find your trap. So advisable guys just to put some kind of float on there. Uh, these floats, like I said, they are being made in China at the moment. I'm going to get a uh, 500 of them brought over with the uh, with the traps so uh, I'll be using those in the future and you'll be able to buy them from the UKCA through eBay uh, I'll put a link up in the uh, in the video description once that's uh, once that's up and uh, ready and available also please keep checking out the uh, the Facebook page and the Facebook group please like and subscribe on the videos and uh, join the UKCA for uh, direct links to uh, Crayfish Trapping Gear official UKCA merchandise which is going to be printed up very, very soon. A lot of things in the pipeline, guys. A lot of things are going to be uh, going to be bought in very, very, very soon. So let's pull this trap in here. Let's see what's in this one. This trap's actually moved since I put it in last. So normally a good telltale sign, telltale sign even, that you've got cray in there. Let's have a look. What's in there? Yeah, we've got cray in there. All righty. There we go. Nice, decent haul. As you can see there, guys, I've reduced the inside of that... Uh, that crayfish trap, as you can see through there, uh, just stop the to stop uh, carp and predatory fish getting in. The new range of uh, traps from the UKCA won't be having cable ties around them. They're going to be specially made specifically for the uh, for the crayfish market with a reduced inlet of 45 millimeters to stop predatory fish getting in. Full stop. So they won't be messing around with things like the zip cable ties here or zip ties, as they're called in the states. So yeah, there we go, it's another decent haul. So let's pull that out and see how many's in there. Decent, very nice. Okay guys, first trap on the uh, third lake. One, two, three, fourth lake, I beg your pardon, fourth lake. Okay, we're doing quite well so far actually guys. We've got uh, quite a decent haul there, using the salmon oil. So yeah, not, uh, not bad. That cage, that about half full. So yeah, there's some decent ones in there as well. Get that fish out of there, put him back. There you go. Let's swim off into the distance. Right, here we go. So yeah, that's good. Okay. It's the fourth, uh, first trap, fourth lake. Been in there for about a week. Salmon oil. Let's see what's in there. Decent haul. There you go, guys. Decent haul. There you go. That's okay. Quite a few adults in there. Some young juveniles as well. All got to come out. All into the boiling pot. As you can see, the weight of that there, look. That's a decent trap's worth of uh, of crayfish. Okay, let's get those suckers out. Let's get that lot in with that lot. And we're gonna rebate guys using the Sticky Baits Pure the Krill Liquid. Okay, it's a uh, holding trap over there. It's just underneath that, uh, that tree over there. 
and over there's the California Lake, which I've already, I've already trapped on. Okay, I'll give Chris a call in a minute, see where about to see it. Uh, right then, guys. So yeah, decent, uh, decent haul. I'll uh, count those out and get back to you. What I'm going to do, guys, I'm just going to actually uh, just weigh in the entire total using uh, the salmon oil, so we know exactly where we're standing at the end of the entire trapping uh, procedure. Because then we can uh, put those weights against the uh, other baits that we've used and do a grand total to see what's the king of the baits is actually going to be. But to be honest with you, I'm still swearing by the sticky baits krill, the pure ammonia liquid krill, and the uh, pure krill liquid. The ammonia krill, basically, the difference between the two baits, this is like a gelatin. It's like a very deep red in colour. It's made with red krill, as you can see there. It's very icky, very gooey, and it stinks to high heaven. As you can see there, it's like a brownie red, red colour. Okay. The ammonia liquid krill is like a deep brown, auburn brown colour, but it's got actually parts of the fish and parts of the meat in it as well. It also sends the, uh, the water cloudy, which means the actual signal. It's going to be attracted to that very much more because it's going to be a lot more uh, diluted and, and the smell's going to travel further because it's actually more water-based as well, so it dissolves a lot quicker into the water. This is more of a gelatin-based, so uh, it does work, though, same kind of thing, but my preferred is the Amoni liquidified krill from Sticky Baits. So I'm going to get this, uh, this uh, in that trap into that bucket and then we're going to do a grand total at the end, guys, okay? So bear with me, there's a lot of traps to pull in. Uh, grand total in the end, okay? Cheers. Okay guys, this is called the sheep wash pool. Uh, decent, uh, decent yield here all the time. You can see here, again, the blue float. Perfect uh, crayfish trapping and crayfish environment here. A blue float there, a blue float over there. Another one there, another one in the corner. Another one there, another one there, and another one there. Basically again, to uh, provide the anglers so they know where the, uh, the traps are. Anyway. Again, using the uh, salmon oil as bait, guys. Okay, that's the yield so far from the other lakes. Let's have a look at that there. Lovely. Okay. So let's pull this one in, see what we got. And it's heavy. <laughs> Boy, is it heavy. Okay. Oh, God, and that's the reason why. Yeah, we've got a bit of... Oh, hey, hey. All righty. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Awesome yield. Awesome catch. See if we can pick that up then. <laughs> yeah, we've got a carp in there as well. Better get that boy out. That is ridiculous. Okay, massive crayfish in there. Fantastic yield. Uh, better get those carp out there before they get pinched by the crayfish. But yeah, awesome. Awesome yield, guys. That's again using the salmon oil as bait. Okay, and it definitely, definitely works. Lovely stuff. Okay, let's get them out. Get them put in the bucket. Fantastic. Okay guys, welcome back to the United Kingdom Crayfish Association's official YouTube channel. Just a quick follow up on the video you've just seen over at Kings Nordley. Guys, I've got to apologise to you. Shortly after that set, that uh, video section was recorded when I pulled that massive trap out that was bursting with, uh, with crayfish. The buyer actually turned up, Chris, he actually turned up to buy the crayfish. And unfortunately I left the actual uh, the camera on record when it completely drained the battery guys so I'm really sorry that you didn't actually see any more of the footage of the actual crayfish coming out. But what I can tell you guys is that there was a massive 23 kilos of crayfish pulled out of that lake. 23 kilos in total, that's three of those large buckets full of American signal crayfish. So on that respect, does salmon oil work for the American signal crayfish trapping? You bet it does, absolutely, and gets a massive thumbs up from myself uh, for use in, uh, in trapping American signal crayfish. Does salmon all work? Absolutely. And that's the whole reason why we do the field research videos, guys, okay? Because we know full well that it wasn't uh, a successful bait for the, uh, for the Turkish narrow claw. For the Turkish narrow claw, but it does work with the American signal. And that's the whole reason why we do field research videos, guys, is to see which type of crayfish are attracted to which type of bait. So, uh, American signal crayfish with salmon all, two thumbs up from the UKCA, okay? 23 kilos, guys, 23 kilos brought out of all those lakes using, using the salmon oil. Uh, absolutely fantastic, fantastic result. It really, really was. Uh, so, uh, that brings the, uh, the video to an end. I'm sorry it was a bit, it's a bit cut short, guys, but like I say, it is my fault. I left the, uh, the video on record and the battery just drained down within about its best part of like 10 or 15 minutes. I didn't know it was still on record, but uh, unfortunately it was, so the battery died. Hands up, my fault. Okay, uh, that's about it for now guys. So until next time, I'm Andy Mack and you are watching the official channel of the UKCA on YouTube. Until next time guys, keep it safe, keep it great, keep it UKCA and I'll see you on the next one. Hopefully I'll with a bit more footage. <laughs> okay guys, I'll see you soon. Bye for now.